Hey guys, Ash here from C4A Tech and here are my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy A8. Let's start with the placements. To the front, on top, we have the earpiece, sensors and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Lower below, a 5.7 inch display and at the bottom, the familiar trio of recent apps home and back keys. As with other phones in the Galaxy A line, the A8 doesn't have a notification LED either. To the back, we have a 16 megapixel rear camera flanked by the speaker and the LED flash. Lower below, the Samsung branding, and at the bottom, Dior's branding. The Galaxy A8 sports an all-metal unibody build, meaning the 3050mAh battery is sealed in. We have the secondary noise cancelling microphone up top, power button to the right, primary microphone, the micro USB port, and the 3.5mm headphone jack at the bottom, and to the left, we have the volume rockers and two slots. One is a nano SIM slot, and the other is a hybrid slot. You could either add a second SIM or a micro SD card here. The Galaxy A8 weighs in at about 150 grams and is just 5.9 mm thick, making this Samsung's slimmest phone till date. The build quality is excellent, the buttons feel tactile and the phone feels really premium in hand. This Galaxy A8 is powered by the Exynos 5430 chip. That's 4 Cortex-A15 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz each, 4 Cortex-A7 cores clocked at 1.3 GHz each, coupled with a Mali T628 GPU and 2 gigs of RAM. There's also an international variant that's powered with a Snapdragon 615 chip. The A8 sports a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display with a full HD resolution that gives it a pixel density of 386 pixels per inch. Initial impressions seem sharp, vivid, inky blacks as expected from Super AMOLED displays. The Galaxy A8 is currently running on Android 5.1 with Samsung's latest TouchWiz UI on top. This is TouchWiz similar to what we've seen on the S6 and the S6 Edge. Feels quite light. The A8 seems responsive. In a first for the Galaxy A line of devices, the A8 has a fingerprint sensor built into the home button. In the few hours that I've spent with the A8, this sensor seems to be similar to the one used in the S6 and the S6 Edge. The fingerprint detection was spot on. Next up, we get to the camera. The Galaxy A8 sports a 16 megapixel rear camera, but unlike the sensor used on the S6 and the S6 Edge, this is not a 16s9 sensor so you'd have to scale down to 12 megapixel to get widescreen shots. Anyway, the shutter speed seemed fast and most common modes including the pro mode are present and accounted for. This camera can also shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. It's also worth noting that the 5 megapixel front camera uses a wide angle lens. Overall, I'm lacking what I'm seeing here. There doesn't seem to be any glaring omissions. Auto brightness, haptic feedback, the private and ultra power saving modes, they're all present. Given the size of the display, we even have multi-window on board. We can resize windows, have them floating while minimized, nice. There's also 32 gigs of onboard storage with support for USB OTG. With all that being said, does the A8 warrant a price tag over 30,000 rupees? Well, as of now, I'm leaning towards no. But then again, I will be spending more time with the Galaxy A8 before coming out of the review, so I'm gonna wait till then to discuss this in detail. In the meantime, if you guys do want to pick a Galaxy A8 up, I'll leave direct links in the description below. So I guess that's it for my first impressions, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this including the full review, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So thanks a lot for watching, till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day, bye bye now.